featured artist tonight uh, for a very long time. My man, when he was uh, nine, 15, but nine <laughs> mentally. And <laughs> he's one of my all time favorite musicians. He's got amazing, very authentic music tonight that he grew up with that he loves. So glad you're here. Let's hear for Billy Thornton. What a lovely introduction. Thank you, Kevin Bales. How y'all doing? We're gonna, we're gonna start with a uh, song by Nirvana from the record Bleach. This is about a girl.
Well, thank you guys so much. So I've known Darren a long time, and uh, when we first met, was in Valdosta, Georgia, at the University of Valdosta, Valdosta State University. Sorry, I got it right. Go Blazers. Go Blazers, blaze a trail. So we had a, uh, we had a percussion ensemble teacher named well, for the purpose of this story, I won't say his name because he, he used to take us on trips and get us drunk and I was 17. So, <laughs> old PC on one of these trips. Paul Chambers. Paul Chambers. <laughs> <laughs> on one of these trips, he turned me on to uh, Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, and all the way down to this gig, he was describing the movie while we listened to the song. And... <laughs> It was wild. And then uh, and on the way back, he said, dude, 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 have you ever listened to Blondie? And the answer was no. But then he played Blondie for me all the way home. So the next song we're going to play is by Blondie. And this is Heart of Glass.
So all these jazz standards that I like to sing. <clears throat> hold for applause. It said hold for applause. Oh, my bad. <laughs> all these jazz standards that I like to sing come from the new great American songbook that do not include most Cole Porter and Nat Cole songs, but they're songs I grew up with. And uh, I tried to fix them for this particular iteration of band and this particular iteration of crowd, because you guys are so lovely. Thank you guys so much for coming out on a little blustery Sunday evening. All of this started with a Britney Spears song, and it was uh, Richard, Richard Thompson's arrangement of a Britney Spears song. And Richard Thompson is a very famous English folk and rock guitar player and singer, and, and when he did whatever song it was that I can't recall. I went, I could do something like that. And so I sat down with uh, the, the Britney Spears song, Toxic, and, and, and thought about what if Tom Waits got a hold of it, but he was from South Georgia like me. So this is Toxic by Britney Spears. <laughs>
Kevin Bales on the piano. When I first moved to town, I used to have a steady Wednesday night gig at the very uh, prestigious club, the Sonesta Lounge. <laughs> Every Wednesday night, Darren and I would go in there and play really, really loud until we almost got fired every week, and then we would turn down. And finally, Renee, the guy who uh, ran the bar, the bar manager, said, if I have to tell you to turn down again, you're out. You're fired. I really needed $150 every Wednesday, so we uh, we started playing Bossa Nova versions. You were making $150? You were making $125. <laughs> I made $150. I brought the PA. Yes, I made $150. <laughs> <laughs> Not right. Well, you know, we can discuss. Uh... Anyway, so we started playing Bossa Nova versions of every song all night long. And they hated that too, but at least it was quiet. So one night we were playing this uh, next Smashing Pumpkins song, and he said, dude, dude, we should do all these songs, Bossa Nova. And we don't do all the songs, Bossa Nova, but we do do 1979, Bossa Nova. So this is 1979 by Smashing Pum Pumpkins. Yes, I have a story behind every song. Yeah, you can clap. Oh my God, those guys are wild.
She hung with all the freaks and ghouls. No apologies ever need be made. I know you better than you think it to see. so much. Um, today would have been Jimi Hendrix's 80th birthday. I was going to sing this song anyway, but then I get to say that. <laughs> Could you even imagine? So for this song, I'd like to invite a very dear friend who is also a wonderful singer to the stage. Y'all put your hands together for Miss Ansley Stewart. So we're at the Velvet Note, and she's wearing a velvet coat. You did it. You officially did it. Thanks. Oh, thanks so much. When, when you get older, like I have done on accident, you don't make friends easily. And I moved here in my mid-30s about eight years ago, and I knew him from 1997. We went to college together, and I knew Kevin since... 1995, but more m more closely since 1999. So it's like old buddies that we just hang out together. It's no problem. It's like you pick up where you left off. But then I made a new friend, and I didn't mean to. She said that at first I was very prickly, but it turns out true. underneath I'm very squishy. Also true. And uh, she saw through me, so we became really close friends. <laughs> anyway, this next song is by Jimi Hendrix, and it's called Angel. Thank you. 
I have procreated. Yes, it happened. Thank you. I need no congratulations. That was a one-player game. I did it myself. Now this is this is my beautiful wife Melissa, who helped me to procreate thrice, and it's it's a very special treat for us to be at the same place at the same time, even if it does mean I'm at work and she's sitting without me, uh, which is often the case because we have three children and we have three children that we named very carefully after Beatles songs. I never sing the song for the eldest because her name is Sadie and I'm not going to sing Sexy Sadie about my daughter. <laughs> Thank God. Yes. I'm a creep in a lot of ways, but that's not one of them. It was funny. It's fine, guys. <laughs> Telling that joke over and over again. <laughs> broke my whiskey already, so I can't fix it. Anyway, um, and, and, and I have a, a son who's about, he's 14. His name is Jude, and sometimes we sing Hey Jude. But tonight I want to sing uh, the baby song. Her name is, she's seven, her name is Prudence. So this is Dear Prudence by the Beatles.
So there's a lot of injustice in the world. <laughs> yeah, there is. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Woohoo! And um, <laughs> some people just experience a little deeper. Have you guys had enough booze yet? Are, we, are you on the same level? I'm trying to get there. I know. <laughs> Catch up, mustard. I know that it's, uh, it's Sunday and people got stuff to do tomorrow, but come on. Uh, no, some people experience this injustice a little deeper than others. And... Uh, you know, often out of out of this is born art and dance and song, and um, the the next artist that I'd like to cover really understands, and uh, I just want to say I stand with Taylor Swift <laughs> in her battle against Ticketmaster, <laughs> and so. Uh, I would like to play a little Taylor Swift for you, from me. Fight the power. <laughs> Too many days, but I can't. 
songs like that kind of thing so I, I, this song is by uh, made famous by Nat King Cole but it's written originally written by a man named Eden Abes yes did you wait until everybody was drinking to play that <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> we love you <laughs> Ashley Stewart ladies and gentlemen y'all give it up for her I've played this many songs over uh, this song many times over the years, and always heard long drawn out stories about how uh, Ed and Abes and, and Nat King Cole got together. And if you would like to hear that story, there's a website called Wikipedia, and you're more than welcome to go there. Um, but I will not go there. So this is uh, Nature Boy by Nat King Cole. There was a boy. A very strange, enchanted boy. They say he wandered very far, very far, very far from A little shy and sad of eye, very wise was he. But then one day, this magic day, he came my way. Say he talked of fools and things, many things. This he said to me, the greatest thing you ever learned is just to love, be loved in return.
think we got time for a couple more. How are y'all doing out there tonight? Great. Yeah. Oh, so pretty. So lovely. So wonderful. I'd like to introduce my friends once again. Um, on the drums, Mr. Darren Stanley. Most of them I don't remember. <laughs> well, he, all right, so favorite non-memory. That that last uh, <laughs> the hatred, but not of you, but like of the things around us that we get to hate on together, but we don't talk about on stage on the microphone. Like what? <laughs> Sport. Lies, or in the words of Big Daddy, mendacity. Too. He used to have a house in Valdosta on 11th and 11th. We called it the Levee because we were very clever back then. <laughs> that last song, I, I, I play it like that because it, because it reminds me of songs we used to. I know, listen, English gets hard after the sun goes down. Uh, it reminds me of songs we used to listen to back then. Anyway, on the piano, my old friend, Mr. Kevin Bales. <laughs> You know, that whole part of the theme has deeper meaning every year. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Uh, we're going to play a little song, a little uh, classic blues by George Michaels. It would be nice if I could touch your body. I know not everybody has got a body like me, but I gotta be twice before I give my heart away. And I know all the games you play, cause I play them too. Oh, but I need some time from that emotion. Time to pick my heart up off the floor.
what news for this river. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Once again, my name is Billy Thornton, and you guys have all been lovely and beautiful for coming out to the Velvet Oak on a Sunday night. We're going to play one more pretty one, and I'd like to dedicate this to my wife, Melissa. This is a song that when, we've, when I was courting her, uh, I was teaching elementary school uh, for like eight hours a day, and then I'd go to her house and take a nap. And then I would go to a gig for like four hours and we'd come hang out because she also worked in the restaurant industry. We'd hang out for a couple hours on the porch and I would, I had this ukulele that I was playing while I was teaching elementary school. And I played it at school all day. And then I would go to a gig and play electric bass and then I'd go to her uh, back porch and play ukulele at her, in her general direction for like 45 minutes to an hour. And at some point she looked at me and she said, I really like you and we're having a good time. Please put that effing ukulele away. <laughs> Am I lying? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is uh, one of the songs I used to sing to her, and this is um, The Nearness of You. Oh, yeah. It's not the pale moon that excites me, that thrills and delights me. Oh no, it's just the new. that brings this sensation oh yeah that in the nearness of Oh, 
Yes, they do. I need no soft light to enchant me. If you're lonely, if you're lonely, grant me the right to hold you. Hold you ever so tight And to feel in the night The is of Thank you guys. Good night. We'll see you next time. We'll be safe.